unprecedented pace of building infrastructure in India. Fifty-three thousand kilometers of national highways added in last nine years. Speed of highway construction reaches thirty-seven kilometers per day, from twelve point one kilometers in two thousand fourteen fifty. Rural road connectivity increasing to nearly ninety-nine percent coverage. Three point two eight lakh kilometers of rural roads built since two thousand fourteen. Twenty-seven greenfield expressways being developed across the country. Five hundred percent increase in road and highway budget allocation. Seventy-four airports operationalized since two thousand fourteen. Length of metro increased from two forty-eight kilometers in two thousand fourteen. to 860 kilometers in 2023 भारत आधुनिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के निर्माण के लिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है तो वही आज का भारत हर वो कदम भी उठा रहा है जिससे प्रोजेक्ट्स में देरी ना हो डिड यू नो दैट फॉर एवरी रुपीज स्पेंड ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर There is a 2.5 to 3.5 rupee gain in GDP. Hello, now we are welcome viewers. You're watching the special series of Sunset TV on making India a manufacturing hub. Today our focus will be on infrastructure. The collective development of India's infrastructure propels economic growth and manufacturing. With increased demand for labor, goods and capital expenditure on infrastructure, there is an increase in the industrial growth. Right now, I'm at the Delhi Meerut Expressway. The project was conceived 16 years back but was completed only in 2021. In this episode, let's take you through India's infra push in road, highways and aviation sectors. Come along. The infrastructure sector acts as a catalyst for India's economic growth. India is experiencing a stupendous upgrade in its infrastructure, government investment and development initiatives. There are significant advancements in India's transportation networks including roads, railways, aviation and waterways. And their impact on the country's economic growth. These infrastructure developments aim to enhance connectivity, reduce logistics costs and position India as a global economic powerhouse and manufacturing powerhouse. India has an immense opportunity to increase its share of global manufacturing exports. and the government is striving to raise manufacturing sector's contribution to 25% to gdp traditionally india has faced a number of challenges for the growth of the manufacturing sector including a lack of proper infrastructure developing a strong logistics and infrastructure framework will be a key to transforming india from a services dominated economy to a manufacturing dominant one particularly enhancements in intermodal connectivity and heavy investments in ports and shipping capacity to make india a developed nation by 2047 infrastructure development needs to move in top gear the make in india program it's a mission where the country is committing to make indian companies multinational present government has done after coming in as brought in a sense of cleanliness to the administration and there is a sort of direction that is available to see where we need to go the national infrastructure pipeline for financial year 2019 to 25 is a first of its kind whole of government exercise to provide world class infrastructure to citizens and improving their quality of life यहाँ सोनीपत से पहले मैं पलवल पढ़ाने जाती थी 
और मैं दिल्ली क्रॉस करके पलवल पहुंचती थी मुझे तकरीबन तीन से चार घंटे लगते थे वहाँ मैं एक डेढ़ महीना गई हूँ और मैं ये कहती हूँ मतलब दिल्ली क्रॉस करके जाना पूरा जाम फेस करना और वो सब उसके बाद मैं कई बार पलवल गई हूँ ईस्टर्न पेरीवियर से और यहाँ से पलवल जाने में मुझे मैक्सिमम दो घंटे बल्कि इससे कम ही टाइम लगा है मैं जितनी बार भी गई हूँ रोड आर दी आर्ट्रीज थ्रू विच इंडिया इकोनॉमी थ्रॉप्स एंड थ्राइव्स बाई कनेक्टिंग फार्मर्स टू मार्केट चिल्ड्रन टू स्कूल रूरल टू अर्बन एरियाज एंड सिक टू हॉस्पिटल Roads have become vital for economic prosperity and poverty reduction. India has the second largest road network in the world, spanning about 63.73 lakh kilometers, which includes national highways, state highways, district roads and rural roads. This extensive network ensures connectivity across various regions of the country. Road transport carries 87% of India's total passenger traffic and more than 60% of its freight. The market for roads and highways in India is projected to exhibit a growth rate of 36.16% during 2016 to 2025 on account of growing government initiatives to improve transportation infrastructure in the country. National highways play a very important role in the economic and social development of the country by enabling efficient movement of freight and passengers and improving access to the market. They account for 2% of the total road network and carry over 40% of total traffic. Bharat Mala Parijana was launched with the primary focus on optimizing the efficiency of the movement of goods and people across the country. Phase 1 of the Bharat Mala Parijana approved in October 2017 focuses on bridging critical infrastructure gaps. through development of 34800 kilometers of national highways the parijana emphasized on a corridor based national highway development to ensure infrastructure symmetry and consistent road user experience the key components of the parijana are economic corridors development inter corridor and feeder routes development national corridors efficiency improvement border and international connectivity roads coastal and port connectivity roads and expressways india has already created world record by constructing 75 km continuous single lane bituminous concrete road in record time of 105 hours and 33 minutes the prosperity is coming from the road and that is the reason that after development of the road the per capita income agricultural growth rate the industrial clusters everything in the all sectors the development started on the global stage our infrastructure is soaring new heights chinab bridge world's highest railway bridge nearing completion atul tunnel world's longest highway tunnel above 10000 feet zozila tunnel asia's longest road tunnel himang world's first motorable road through glaciers in ladakh bogibil bridge asia's second longest railroad bridge in dibrugarh aane ke liye wo logo ko 500 km ka duri tay karna padta tha aur jisme lagbhag 24 ghanta lag jate the aur wo wo log apne jaan ko hatheli par rakh ke ferry ke through aana padta tha lekin ye bogibil bridge banne ke baad aaj iska jo duration hai wo 100 km ka reh gaya और महज तीन घंटे में आदमी लोग यहाँ आ पाते हैं इन द पास्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट सफर्ड फ्रॉम इन ऑर्डिनेट डिले बट इन द लास्ट नाइन ईयर्स थिंकिंग बिग एंड डिलीवरिंग विदाउट डिले हैव बिन द हॉल मार्क्स ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इन द कंट्री प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो रेगुलरली मॉनिटर्स द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट थ्रू प्रगति प्लेटफॉर्म विच हैज लेड टू सक्सेसफुल कम्पलीशन ऑफ वेरियस डिले एज वेल एज न्यूली अनाउंस्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स The government has also approved Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana Part 3 program in 2019 which mainly focuses on consolidation of 125000 km existing routes and major rural links that connect habitations to Grameen agricultural markets higher secondary schools and hospitals since inception till 13 July 2022 86039 km road length has been sanctioned and 41440 km completed 
under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana 3. In fact, road connectivity project for left-wing extremism affected areas for construction of strategically important roads was also launched as a separate vertical under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Since inception till 13 July 2022, 12,081 kilometers road length has been sanctioned and 6,179 kilometers have been completed. Technology ये लिया है कि जो वेस्ट था प्लास्टिक उसकी टेक्नोलॉजी ली हमने एफडीआर टेक्नोलॉजी ली राज्यों से निवेदन किया हूँ कि आप कम से कम जितना मिनिमम 20-25 परसेंट आप नया टेक्नोलॉजी से सड़क को बनाएं जिसमें कार्बन को ध्यान में रखें मजबूती को ध्यान में रखें कॉस्ट की कॉस्ट को खर्चे को India has given the infra push to the civil aviation sector like never before. In fact, the civil aviation industry is one of the fastest growing industries in India. With the regional connectivity scheme, we are ensuring Hawaii Yatra with Hawaii Chappals. Currently, the country has 131 operational airports, including 29 international, 92 domestic and 10 custom airports. To meet the growing demand for air travel in India, it has become imperative to increase the capacity of airport infrastructure. To augment the airport infrastructure in the country, the government aims to develop 100 airports by 2024 under the Uran scheme and expects to invest $1.83 billion in the development of airport infrastructure by 2026. The Uran scheme plans to enhance connectivity to India's unserved and underserved airports and infrastructures to make air travel affordable and widespread. More than 2.15 lakh Quran flights have operated and over 1.1 crore passengers have availed the benefits in Uran scheme. In Uran flights as on 30th of November 2022. India is the third largest domestic aviation market. The total number of domestic passengers in 2014 was 16 million, which doubled to 143 million in 2020 prior to COVID-19. International passengers have increased from 43 million to 64 million. And in terms of aircraft, the numbers have increased from around 400 in 2014 to 723 in 2023, despite the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Till 2014, only 74 airports were operational in the country. By 2023, the government operationalized another 74 airports and heliports and water aerodromes. During the last nine years, 11 more greenfield airports have been operationalized. Manufacturing has tremendous potential in our country. Uh, but for that, in any country, uh, civil aviation needed to achieve scale. We have now achieved scale in India. And I think the time is ripe to put in place and concentrate not only on airlines and airports, but to concentrate on the full ecosystem of civil aviation. And that civil aviation ecosystem entails FTOs, flying training organizations, entails helicopters, entails ground handling, entails MRO, entails manufacturing. And as far as manufacturing is concerned, I think, again, Prime Minister's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat, uh, make in India, but make for the world. I think that transformation has happened over the last eight years. The very fact that today Boeing, uh, along with Tata and other companies, have multiple facilities in India, export goods over a billion dollars made in India. Uh, Airbus uh, exports goods worth of roughly about $650 million from India. One of the largest MRO majors, Safran, uh, is putting in place a $150 million facility in India for their CFM LEAP engines. Not just in the northeastern region, the government also focused on developing connectivity across other state borders with its Act East policy. Aimed at promoting economic cooperation, cultural ties and developing strategic relationships with countries in the Asia-Pacific region, the policy was actually part of PM Modi's vision for Northeast India, a vision aimed at developing Northeastern India as a gateway to Southeast Asia. Over the last nine years, more than 3.84 lakh crore have been spent for the development of the Northeastern region. In this nine-year period, 1,000 
195 projects worth 15,375 crore have been sanctioned under multiple schemes. The major ongoing road projects in the northeastern region are four laning of Dimapur Kohima Road in Nagaland, Nangon Bypass to Holongoi in Arunachal Pradesh, alternate two lane highway from Bagar Port to Pankyong in Sikkim, two laning of Aizwal and Toipan in Mizoram, four laning of Imphal Moray section, and 75.4 km of two laning in Manipur. There's also a big boost to aerial connectivity in northeastern states. 18.45 lakh domestic and 1.04 lakh foreign tourists visited the northeastern states during the year 2022. 16 airports are being operationalized in the northeastern region under the Uran scheme. Airports in five northeastern states of Mizoram, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, and Nagaland have seen flights take off for the first time in 75 years. This move will boost the socio-economic development of the region with a good connectivity network with other parts of the country. Tourist footfall will increase in the region. It will also create unprecedented employment opportunities. First of all, connectivity, road, train, flight, and flight. There was a meeting with the bankers. There was a meeting with the IDB Bank. There was a meeting with the JICA. There was a meeting with the JICA. वो लोग भी ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स भी फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस देने के लिए निर्णय किया है वैसे ही हम 100 प्लेसेस टूरिज्म व्यू पैंट्स टूरिज्म मिनिस्ट्रीज और डोनर मिनिस्ट्री के द्वारा हम बनाने के लिए प्रयास किया है इट इज सेड दैट फ्यूचरिस्टिक अर्बन प्लानिंग विल डिटरमिन द फेट ऑफ आवर सिटीज इन अमृतकाल देयर हैज बीन अ मैसिव पुश ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट even in tier 2, tier 3 cities with focus on housing for all and metro connectivity. The construction industry in India consists of the real estate well as the urban development segment. The real estate segment covers residential, office, retail, hotels and leisure parks. United Nations projects India's population to be 1.64 billion by the year 2047, of which nearly 0.82 billion shall be residing in urban areas. One of the leading recipients of FDI in the country is the construction sector. Government has launched three flagship schemes aimed at changing the face of urban India. Smart Cities Mission, Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation and Housing for All. Against the validated demand of 1.12 crore houses, as on 13th of March 2023, crores of houses have been delivered under both Pradhan Mantri, Avas Yojana Urban and Rural to the citizens of India. Amrut has been ensuring water security by adding 1.1 crore household water tap connections and 85 lakh sewer connections, thus benefiting more than 4 crore people. Smart Cities Mission, launched in 2015, is aimed at providing core infrastructure, clean and sustainable environment and a decent quality of life to the citizens. Through the application of smart solutions, 100 cities have been selected through two-stage competition to be developed as smart cities. The government has also focused on the metro rail transformation to deal with the problems of rapid urbanization and rising population. Before 2014, only five cities in India had a 229-kilometer metro network. And by April this year, 860 kilometers of metro rail network is operational in 20 cities. Together, what you are talking about, 20 cities is going up by the day. We have more than 860 kilometers already operational. But more than that, we have another 1,000 kilometers in advanced stages of construction. So we have timelines. What are those timelines? Those timelines are you approve phase one, phase two, it will be delivered on time. By and large, the projects are being done within the timelines, within the budget estimates. The PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan was launched in October 2021 with a vision to enable a mechanism for coordinated planning and to provide a bird's eye view of plan development to all the ministries for holistic and integrated development. It envisages establishing integration and synergy amongst different infrastructure sector projects. Bharat ko 
आधुनिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के साथ ही इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर निर्माण में होलिस्टिक अप्रोच इंटीग्रेटेड अप्रोच अपनाने की बहुत जरूरत है to boost the ease of doing business and enhance livability quotient government also launched the national logistics policy to lower the cost of logistics from the existing 13 to 14% and lead it to par with other developed countries this will increase the competitiveness of indian products in both the indian market and the international market the government also announced an urban infrastructure development fund to create urban infrastructure in tier 2 and tier 3 cities with outlay of 10000 crore per annum India has also taken a systematic approach to create a robust PPP program that is public private partnership for delivery of high priority public utilities and infrastructure with close to 2000 PPP projects in various stages of implementation India's program is one of the largest in the world according to World Bank Moving forward the most critical task for India will be to balance its efforts towards a big push in infrastructure investments and create an enabling environment for successful implementation and timely completion of these projects. Redemption of these complementarities in infrastructure development can be instrumental to India's realization of its growth potential that is the third largest economy in the world. Well viewers that's all I had for you in this edition in the subsequent episodes we will also focus on the infra push in the railways and the waterways sector with camera person Jitendra Dhanegi and camera assistant Bharatveer and video editor Chandan and Prithvi Mishra signing off for Sunset Television